Hey everybody, welcome back to Orangeville Daily Homes. My name is David Waters and I am your host. Today we've got 11 properties that we're gonna talk about um, that have come up over the last week or so. And um, typically when we go into the winter months, things kind of quiet down a little bit, um, but there's always going to be listings. Uh, it's just how many uh, come out is, is very, um, it's kind of a small number. Typically things start picking up usually in the, the middle of January, uh, maybe even at the tail end of January. But uh, there will be, there will be, oh, there's always listings that come out just more lay like, closer to the, you know, spring basically. So if, um, if you're watching this and you wanna take your search to the next level, if you've got a particular requirement that you're looking at, um, or if you're receiving, this and you're watching the email or you're watching the video and you're like, yeah, I've already talked to you, David. This is just another avenue that I, I put out content for all of you guys. So if you're looking for more of a customized version of what it is you're looking for in terms of like price range or a very, very particular type of property, uh, just reply back to me uh, and just say, hey, look, Dave, this is what I'm looking for. Um, can you help me out? And I will put my thinking cap on and I will set up search parameters and all those fun things and um, basically let the adventure begin. So without further ado, uh, let's dive in. Uh, now I have not just, again, you got to remember, I haven't looked at any of the properties um, that are on the list. Uh, sometimes I am able to get in and, and see properties, uh, but uh, most of this is kind of like you sitting over my shoulder and me kind of giving you a uh, an idea, or not an idea, but more of a review of what came on in the market in the last couple of days type of thing. So we're gonna start off with our first one. This is Third Avenue. This is in Shelburne, 469. Uh, it's a one and a half, uh, it's a one and a half story home. And um, yeah, it's uh, no garage or anything. It's, uh, it is a small house. These homes are typically kind of like around the age of when, um, uh, you know, the post-war, uh, like in the 40s, even 50s, or even leading in the 60s, this is kind of the, some of the, the styles that we see. But it uh, looks like they've done, you know, they've, they've done renovations in this place. So um, it's kind of interesting. Typically you see a window right here, but it looks like it's been covered over and I don't know the reason why, but it looks like it is. It just looks very different. <laughs> Uh, I'm kind of so used to having those there, but um, and this I don't know if it was like a a closet at one time or a false wall or what they did, but kind of made it look a little a little different than what you would normally see. Uh, bedrooms are exactly what you know you'd think it would be uh, in a in a home like this. Now the one thing to keep in mind is this has a uh, 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 apartment in the basement. Which is uh, which is nice. So if you've got, um, you know, uh, teenagers, um, or you've got in-laws, or you know, you just need more, more space, um, then yeah, you know, that's it's not a, a bad thing to have. Now this here, it's a good sized backyard. There's a laneway across the back, and this is the high school. So there's a high school parking lot, and then a road, and then the school on the other side. This is the front of the building. And then, yes, those are solar panels. Um, there's the back, there's the back door leading into the house. Water tower is across the street as well. So yeah, I mean, I think that is, uh, yeah, it's, a, it's interesting. It's not a big house, but you know, if you can rent out the basement, um, just cause it's got two bedrooms up and then one down, if you know, it could be a nice starter home for, for somebody. Next one is, uh, $4.99, uh, and this is 170 Burbank. Now, I never thought that I would ever see homes listed for basically $500,000 on Burbank. However, this one's being renovated. It is a semi-detached home. It showcases really nice. Uh, they've done all the great things that you would want done to a house um, with regards to opening walls, uh, everything being new like that I'm looking at. Like, There's not one thing that I could critique. Like This is just... It's really nice. Now, every now and then we will get pictures that kind of do this. Uh, I don't know, what was that other picture there? For some reason it doesn't want to load. 
Anyways, um, yeah, the bedrooms look good as well. You know, there's not... Now, downstairs, you know, downstairs, it's got a, um, a drop ceiling. So you could put in a uh, drywall ceiling if you wanted. But, um, but yeah, I mean, the whole place is done. Nice size backyard. No pictures on the front, but I kind of like it. I never thought I would, I, I would say that um, with regards to um, a property on Burbank at 500000 Like that, I, I, I honestly didn't think I'd ever see that. But I can understand uh, what's happened. Now, this one is a detached. This is in Shelburne, and for like $50,000 more, well, now you've got, you know, uh, basically I think this is a six, maybe a six-year-old, seven-year-old home. Uh, but front entrance, I think they've priced it well, guys, I do. Um, this is a big open space, <laughs> open to above. So sometimes these rooms look kind of odd when they're open to above and they're a little smaller. Um, but there's, uh, but with the price that they're asking, you know, I, uh, I would say that they're in line with where things need to be. Um, neighborhood's nice too, right? Like all those uh, areas. Now, I think this here, this is a step, I don't know if this, this is a step down. I think this would be your door to the garage. Um, so yeah, so that's always, always nice. Backyard's nice as well. It's a little bit of a, well, I wouldn't say a pie shape, but more of a kind of a hockey stick shape. They, they got the curve, <laughs> but, um, but yeah, it's nice. I think they've, they've done, I think they priced it where it needs to be. Uh, 103 Diane, this is 559. This is in Shelburne. Um, so yeah, so pictures, you know, it's a little bit darker, but um, you know, you got the old oak cabinets in there. It's a little dark to really kind of get a real idea of what's going on, but um, you know, typical room sizes. I think the windows have been redone on this place. Uh, just a lot of bulky. That, that was a closet, by the way, guys. That big thing. That's a that's a closet, or a bureau, or something like that. Um, that's kind of an interesting place to hang your um, towels. <laughs> never never seen that before. You kind of need to. I don't know. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm having a hard time. Backyard's great. It's cool. Um, I'm good with that. But, you know, three bedrooms, two washrooms. Um, there is a finished walkout in there. Um, yeah, it's, it's the pictures are a little hard to navigate. That's, uh, that's all I have with that one. Uh, 63 Goldgate uh, at 609. Um, it's a two-story, three-bedroom. Um, it's uh, the basement is, I believe, a walkout. It's nice. You got the two-car garage there. Um, now the cabinets are older, right? Looks like they were just painted, right? You can see the hinges on the corners. Uh, that's always a, a dead giveaway there. Um, and then you've got the sunken living room off the kitchen there. Um, hardwood floors look really, you know, it looks really nice. Uh, front entrance way when you walk in there. Just watch your steps. Um, you don't want to stub your toe or, or trip because you know now you've got a raised uh, area in the uh, in the dining room. Uh, yeah, there's your master bedroom. <laughs> uh, you've got another bedroom there. I, just all the things are kind of all over the place. Um, yeah, so. Again, yeah, side entrance there into the into the laundry, a lot of deck, and there's your backyard. So, and there's your walkout. So, anyways, that's uh, that's an interesting one. Uh, very, it's it's just a different layout than I than I've seen in the past. But uh, this is a nice neighborhood. Uh, it's very quiet. I do get a lot of runners that kind of come through that area because there's a running uh, there's a running store kind of around the corner. But uh, anyways, it's interesting. Next one is 177 Johnson. This is 624. 
Uh, this is a corner lot, right? So with corner lots, uh, it, it looks huge, right? So there's four bedrooms, there's three washrooms. Uh, and uh, so, yeah, so it looks, that that's your front of your house. Around the corner is literally the garage. So you've got this, I'm pointing to the screen, I'm sorry, but you've got this, lo this long uh, walkway up to the front door. You've got a good backyard there. It's a corner lot, so it looks out on the, on the fields. Um, so I, yeah, it's, it's definitely different. But like I said, there's your garage and there's your wraparound, which a lot of people are gonna like. Um, a lot of porch. And then inside, you're gonna find it's kind of like, like very, very long and narrow. Um, but with this place, you get a lot of natural light that comes in. I mean, this place, is, in this room here has got, what, seven windows um, in it, which is crazy. But a lot, of la a lot of light that comes in. Apparently, they're collectors of, of uh, something or other. But uh, yeah, the rooms are, are very, very bright, uh, very open, very nice that way. Um, but yeah, backs on the fields and uh, yeah, very nice. But I think with the price, they're, they're, yeah, absolutely. I would say they're totally right in line. Um, next one is uh, Hillborn. This is in Grand Valley, uh, 709, three bedrooms, uh, three washrooms. It looks like there's another uh, bedroom maybe in the basement. But um, so you're going with this nice grayscale home, which is really nice. You walk in very, very open to above, uh, nice Nice tiles, right? I think these are travertine tiles. Uh, you've got a great dining room in there. It's kind of open to above, which really lets in, makes you feel very, very open, very airy. Now, the one thing that you'll want to you'll want to pay attention to is when you look at homes like this, is they can echo if you don't have enough furniture in the rooms. Uh, so kind of keep that in mind. But this place here, it showcases extremely well. Uh, I think they've done when they bought the house, they had all the things done like to the nines. Like this is. This is beautiful, absolutely great, uh, no complaints. And um, in terms of price, right, price wise, I think uh, I think they're okay with uh, with what they have, uh, the size of the place. I think there's a lot of uh, a lot of upsides. Um, I guess the only downside that you have is it doesn't have uh, it's not fully fenced yet. So uh, and the deck is is kind of really small. So kind of just those would be my only only two takes. And then. Uh, and then I'm trying to figure out with the picture what this backs onto. Um, anyways, take a look in, I forget what that is. In, I think that may be just another house in Grand Valley. But anyways, because I know that there's a lot of uh, subdivisions that are being built that are all kind of around other, uh, you know, other country homes. It's a lot of development going on in Grand Valley right now. Uh, McIntyre Lane, uh, 724. This is also in Grand Valley. Uh, four bed. Uh, what was the price? Hold on. Uh, yeah, seven twenty four. Um, and so yeah. So uh, with this, it's uh, again you've got the two car there. Now it doesn't have a paved driveway because you can tell it's just um, just rocks basically dirt. But when you walk in, you got the nice entrance up to the upper floor, and this is kind of a different layout. Like the roof lines are very, very, very different. I haven't seen one of these before. So um, yeah, so open to above. Uh, then you've kind of got this angled sloping ceiling in here, uh, open into the um, into the kitchen here. So good size room for your dining room and living room. And then you've got your, your kitchen over there. But uh, you know, just looking at this one and comparing it to the previous one, I'm kind of more inclined to go with the other one. Um, interesting bathroom, a lot of space, a lot of space for his and hers. Um, yeah, and there's your fully fenced backyard. So yeah, I, I, I'm not too sure. I mean, I, I'm kind of more gravitating towards that previous one, um, significantly diff priced differently. Uh, 45 Zyna, uh, 879. It's a two story, it's a century home. These are always lovely homes. Uh, there's no garage from what I can see, but uh, you know, kitchen is being updated. And here's the one thing that sometimes people don't really realize with the countertops, you always want to make sure that you have a plug, right? And this is great. You've got 
outlets here so you can be sitting there with your laptop. And if it starts to die, you can just plug it in and you're not stretching the cord across the countertop. So I think they've done a, a great job uh, in there. Kitchens are going to be smaller, just so you know, but typically this, the dining rooms are, are usually bigger. Uh, very nice there. Uh, you've got the living room there in the front. Very, very nice. There's another shot of your kitchen. Um, okay, now who who wouldn't want to have that in their master bedroom? That's pretty cool. I actually kind of feel like you're on, uh, on vacation at a resort. Uh, bathroom's really huge. Uh, lots of big pane of glass. Um, staircase going up. Nice railing, barn board doors. Uh, looks like there's been uh, renovations up there in the bathroom as well. Uh, seating room upstairs, I think, as well. Um, and then, yeah, the backyard with the duck. So, I like it. I think it's pretty cool. Um, Price-wise, well, you know, I, I, I'm not against that, actually. I think it's... Uh, I think it's pretty good for for what's there it's in a great neighborhood too um next one is over on mono on second line it's a million and fifty and uh this one's pretty pretty cute actually i like that uh you've got the separate garage uh, it's all board and batten um and those of you not too sure what that means basically it's just um it's wood so it's boards that they put down and then they batten it down with this little piece of wood that goes between the seams that's why it's called board and batten. Um, yeah, it looks, you know, it's a country home. This just look, you're probably going to have a lot of furniture in here, but uh, it showcases really nice. Uh, I like, uh, I like the, the, the angle, the pitch of the roof, which is really nice. Uh, kitchen is quite lovely, actually. Uh, I love the pendant lights, which is, which is really great. Uh, the built in oven, which is also really nice. And then you got the stove top over there. Uh, which is wonderful. That's a nice, that's a nice view actually of, uh, of I guess their sitting room there. Uh, master bedroom. It looks like they've used barn board on the ceiling, and then they've got some pot lights in there. Interesting. It kind of makes it kind of cozy, close more kind of closed in, I guess. Um, and then you've got another kitchen here, uh, maybe at the back of the house. Uh, but up, that's kind of a cool little drafting room there. But, uh, you know, it looks really nice. A little fire pit area for in the summertime there, or even in the wintertime. Uh, nice. I mean, you can go hiking. And for some reason, again, the last picture doesn't want to load. Don't know what that is today. But anyways. So, yeah, so you got two kitchens in that place. So it's, I think the only uh, downfall that some people may have on this is it's a two-bedroom with one bedroom in the basement. Yeah, it's got a walkout, but... You know, sometimes people may have a hard time with that. However, it's on, it's, uh, I'm trying to think how many acres are we on here. Uh, it doesn't really tell me how many, uh, maybe four, maybe, is that only half an acre that it's on? I was going to assume that it's more than that, maybe 49 acres, but it doesn't, it doesn't tell me guys. So sorry about that. Uh, last one is uh, first line. It's basically a million 100,000, uh, two bedrooms. Again, I don't know what it is with all these two bedrooms. So two bedrooms up, two bedrooms down. Uh, again, you've got a finished walkout. A lot of hardwood flooring in here. It's a bungalow loft. And um, yeah, there's just a big sloping hill at the back of the house there. So uh, great for tobogganing. There's your front. There's your front. So it's like log and field stone, I guess. Um, no garage. Yeah, a lot of deck. Um, grounds look nice, very open. And there's your front entrance walking in. Uh, a lot of pot lights, uh, wood beams, arched with gates. Interesting. Um, sauna, which is really cool. But uh, yeah, and there's the there's the upper floor. So I guess that would be the front of the house over here. Um, yeah, I mean it's it's. It's interesting. Um, it's a little bit of everything. Well, wait a minute, but then there's this whole other area over there, which is quite nice as well. Um, kitchen, which is pretty cool. Um, a lot of wood. So if you if you don't like wood, this one may not be for you. But 
It's a little bit of a mix of everything on this one, I would assume. Anyways, that's our last one, everybody. Um, hopefully, hopefully you like it. Um, I, this one was on 10 acres, by the way. So that's our last one. I hope you have a great day. And I, uh, I believe our last video uh, before Christmas will be probably early next week. Okay, everyone, have a great day and uh, get your Christmas shopping done this weekend because <laughs> I, I know I will. <laughs> Take care. Bye, everybody.